like there we go that's 200 cows on the bike and a few groin stretches to start the day um I say start the day i did them at like 11 o'clock but yeah anyway um i'm just off to morrison's now to get a bit of lunch and get some ingredients for dinner tonight i saw this thing on mob kitchen um if you if you follow mob kitchen on instagram it's honestly it's like the food they make on there is unbelievable and um yeah, there's this like nice bacony noodles thing that they've um, that they posted on there. So I'm gonna get some ingredients for that, um, and yeah, I'm gonna uh, get a meal deal because I can't be able to cook anything for lunch and get something for Rima. So yeah, let's go. All right, this is my meal deal that I usually go for. No, that's Rima's. No, that's mine actually. Yeah. So I always go for wraps just because the the. the the sandwiches are pretty shit. It's just like ham and cheese and prawn mayonnaise and all that stuff. Whereas Morrison's um, wraps are pretty good. They do southern fried chicken, sweet chili chicken, duck, all, all nice stuff. Um, so I went for southern fried chicken. Um, the drink, I went for a cherry Pepsi Max. And I went for pineapple chunks as the snack. Let me know what you think of that uh, choice. Um, I know that meal deals is kind of like a personality trait. Whatever you choose is uh, it's kind of the person you are. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you a bit later. Right, I just got to the gym now, just on my pre-workout, and I think I'm gonna do some chest today, just simple chest, flat, incline, flies, and then some tricep dips at the end. Keep it nice and simple. I need to take this off and boiling. Might change into my uh, my Nike quarter zip for a bit of breathability. So yeah, let's go. session done that is oh, for focus there we go that's i was 60 kilos for 20 reps on the flat and then went to 80 for 10 or 12 i can't remember um then it was 100 for eight and then 120 for five i feel like i want to keep to 120 for five as, lo as long as i can do that i'll be happy with bench for a bit um and then i went on to incline i did three sets of 15 on 60 um ever since that that video of that bodybuilder um, ripping his pec off his shoulder, like I'm really cautious. I feel like I'm gonna need to be really cautious about like heavy incline bench. Just, oh, it was, I haven't even watched the video yet. I just can't, I can't literally can't stomach it. Um, but yeah, then I went on to some dips. Um, I did four sets of 12 on that. And then I did some flies to finish. Uh, that was four sets of 10 or 12. I'm not sure which one, I think it was 10. Yeah, four sets, say four sets of 10. Um, nice and simple. My chest feels good, I'm boiling in this. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have some food and then hopefully tonight, because it's a nice evening, I'm gonna watch the sunset. Right, so I thought I'd finish off this video by doing like a little Q&A. Um, I've got 15 questions off Instagram and yeah, they're all really random. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll crack on. Question one, how have you coped with motivation in general during lockdown? Um, I haven't really. Um, some days I've gone to the gym like two times, 
you know, some weeks I've gone to the gym twice a week, some days I've gone three times a week. Yeah, it's been very up and down and like eating wise, diet wise, it's just been awful to be honest. It's it just like, I think, I think I speak for everyone when I say that everyone's mindset has just been like in the mud and everyone hasn't been themselves and whatever just because you can't do anything and it's just been yeah it's been hard to pick yourself up some days just to have a shower but um yeah but on the, on the days that i do go i just think to myself do you know what i'm in a much better position than a lot of other people that like going to the gym and stuff you know i've got all this equipment in the garage yes yeah, um yeah that's a that's a big um that gives me a lot of motivation just knowing that other people are in a worse position than me. Question two, what has been the pros and cons of only using three weeks during lockdown? Um, the pros has been doing very basic things and in terms of progressive overload, just moving up the weight incrementally um, and just sort of perfecting those simple movements like bench press, shoulder press, um, barbell rows, all those things. Just really just, yeah, going back to basics has been nice. Cons, um, not enough versatility uh, with how you train each, each muscle group. Um, yeah, that's, that's been a big con. Thoughts on gyms still being closed whilst other things are opening back up. Um, it, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, the, the, more, the more of an opinion you have on it, the more angry you're gonna make yourself. But yeah, it's, I, I just don't get this fixation with Britain on when a pub's open, when a pub's open, and trying to get pubs open when you know you've got a, a community of, of gym goers who you know uh, are avid supporters on trying to get things open and trying to do things the right way, and you've got a government who are just trying to silence it. And every time I, I read, every time I read a um, you know their, their their new guidance, they they never mention. The leisure industry it's it's always just pubs and restaurants like yeah it's it is what it is with that do you think bodybuilders slash physique competitors should be classed as athletes no what are your do's and don'ts for strength training for example increase bench squats and deadlifts um i think you should i think the number one thing is leave your ego at the door um and start those movements very light because you're just gonna you're just gonna hurt yourself like i've got a video of me doing um 205 kilo deadlift and in no way was i ready to deadlift that i ended up round in my in the end my back just started rounding off and i got the weight up but my back was hurting for about a week and a half two weeks and i had to stop doing um things in the gym which i would have done just to let my back heal um so yeah, just be smart and be be really safe. Thoughts on fasting for a day to create a calorie deficit? Um, yeah, I don't I don't understand this. What like why would you eat fine one day and then just not eat anything the day after, and then eat again the next day? Like surely in order for it to balance out, you'd have to eat four thousand calories. Mon you know, for example, you have to eat four thousand calories Monday, nothing Tuesday, four thousand calories Wednesday nothing Thursday just so it balances out. Surely you're not getting enough nutrients and stuff in your diet if you're just going to skip an entire day of eating. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Goals for the week, month and year. Um, well my goal at the moment is to get my to get my groin a little bit um, better because it's just I'm just sort of sat around um, not doing anything really. I'm trying to go on the bike and stuff and Doing, doing stretches and exercise to try and strengthen it. But yeah, um, just slow process, isn't it? Um, for the month, um, I haven't really got any goals for the month, to be honest. Just just tick along and wait until things reopen again. I think that's what we're all doing, isn't it? Um, goals for the year. Um, I want to be, be lighter than we're, how, what I am now. Um, I want to be a lot healthier and I want to buy a bike. I do. I want to go. I want to start cycling. Um, but obviously, living in a one-bed flat, there's not much space to store it. Um, but that's what I want to do. I want to start cycling. I think it's a really cool hobby to have. 
aspirations for one, five, and 10 years down the line in terms of your fitness? Um, well, aspirations for, for a year, I've just answered that. Um, for five years time, so I'll be 31 in five years. Um, no idea. I think I'm just, for, for years, for, for five years and 10 years, I think I just, just sort of enjoy enjoy the journey just enjoy trying to get fitter and just th if if things crop up down the line just try and enjoy them um yeah i haven't got any aspirations really for like long-term aspirations rate Durban's trim at 10. um hang on let me just go on to let me just go on to his instagram let's have a look okay so we got Mm, it's not a very good photo for that. Um, ah, great photo. Right. Um, when was this taken? 2019. Yeah, I mean, there's not much product in it. Uh, the, the the fade's a bit um, fade's a bit overgrown. Um, rate the smile though. Smile's a 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, it looks like just before the photo, he sort of swept it over with his uh, with his with his fingers. So you can sort of see the um, the finger marks in his fringe. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I think I'll give it maybe a seven, seven out of ten. But I think when he's had his when he's had a fresh trim, then he's he's easily a nine nine point five. Let's see if I can find one. Has he got a fresh trim there? No. Um, but yeah, seven out of ten. Next question, what are you insecure about? Um, I guess physically, I'm a bit insecure about my nose and I've got a big vein on the back of my leg, which is a bit annoying. Um, mentally, mentally though, I think, um, I feel like sometimes I'm a little bit socially awkward, <laughs> which, um, yeah, which is something that I'm like, I'm really uh, like sort of paranoid about sometimes. Um, and also, I'm just because I don't smile much. Just my just my general face. I don't really smile much. I just feel like people think I'm really grumpy and moody and stuff. And they sort of they sort of you know I've I've been told before in in, in work and stuff that I'm like not very approachable. But yeah, that's that's one thing I'm a bit insecure about is not you know not feeling like people can approach me. Um, but yeah, hopefully now I've said it, people will actually approach me and. Uh, know that I'm not frowning and angry all the time. I'm just, that's just how my face is. Um, who's your best mate? Um, I haven't really got a best mate, to be honest. I think I've got so many, I've, I've got different friendship groups um, and everyone's, I, I, I sort of get on with everyone the same, um, but I, I'd hate, to, I'd hate to, say, to, to, to say one person is my best mate. Um, you know, I've got, I've got friends from school that I still I still talk to and really good friends with. Um, I've got people um, like Ben, Max, Devon that I'm I'm really good friends with. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I have I have a best mate. I've just got a really good group of friends that I can I can turn to all of them. And if I've if I've ever got any problems, I can t I feel like I can turn to them all. Next question: What equipment do you use for your videos? Um, well, I'll show you. So I've got a GoPro Hero 9. Um, I usually use this when I'm like in the gyms because I think walking in with a big camera is just a bit, bit obnoxious really. Um, and this is a bit more subtle and it's a, it's a good quality piece of kit. And uh, yeah, when, when, the summer's, when the sun's out and stuff, I, I would quite like to go out and do some, uh, do some cool things and I think this will come in handy. Um, I've got a, a DJI Mavic Mini. Um, yeah, it's, it's been quite hard to get out recently just because the weather's been a bit crap, but of late it's been it's been okay. Um, I'm hoping to use this a bit more in the summer. And what I'm currently recording on, I'll record off the GoPro so you can sort of see it, is a Canon EOS M50 with a 11 to 22 millimeter camera lens and a Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, I've, just, I've just bought this, um, this new mic actually just because the older one it was taking me ages to um to like edit the the audio and it's just it's just so annoying but yeah um on a gorilla uh, pod as well 
no, is it called a gorilla pod? I don't know. Yeah, but a, a pod, a, a, a tripod that you can sort of like mold around things, and yeah, it's it's really versatile. But um, yeah, that's that's what I use to what equipment I use for my videos. Um, in terms of editing, I use Final Cut Pro on the MacBook. Um, that's just the most easiest. Like I used to use iMovie and then going straight going to Final Cut Pro. It was the same. It was sort of the same interface, and it was quite easy to. Um, to transfer the skills I learned on iMovie straight to Final Cut Pro and you have more things to do on there. I tried using Premiere Pro for a time but it, all it did was just, it just messed up my computer. It was just, yeah, it was crap. But yeah, that's the, that's the stuff I use. Next question, is bodybuilding a sport? Um, in my opinion, it's not. Like, cause if you, if you compare, if you compare like a beauty pageant so like Miss World or anything like that, and compare a just a bodybuilding show, it's essentially the same thing. Um, and yeah, it's 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 a very it's a very tricky subject because like you know obviously you, you're going to get bodybuilders who are going to get offended because they they're sponsored by these companies that call them athletes and stuff. But if you're not you know if you if bodybuilding's not a sport, you're not an athlete at the end of the day. You're a beauty you're a pageant contestant. Um, they don't like hearing that because when you hear pageant, you think of a, a you know, a beauty pageant, like like you know, in dresses and stuff like that. But you know, it's it's not a sport. You don't need a. There's, there's not a certain skill set you need to be a bodybuilder. It's who do I look better than the person next to me? And that's not that's not a sport. So yeah, will you ever compete at a powerlifting event? Um, no, I don't think I will, to be honest. Like, I, at the start of the, when we when we came out of the fire break, I was really sort of into trying to up my numbers in terms of my lifts and stuff. Um, and I was talking to a few people, just asking them their opinion on like, what's it like to, to, to train as a powerlifter and stuff. And yeah, I didn't like what I heard. It was, it was very much like, it was quite an unhealthy sort of, um, quite an unhealthy regime um, you, you you know you have to put on loads and loads of weights and yeah it's it just seemed to me like you're just putting your body through so much and for what like it's just it's it's gonna ruin your it would ruin my um, my knees and stuff it ruin my hips and whatever like I'm not the most mobile person as it is and I think if I went into a into a powerlifting meet I think I'd just leave it broken so yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I do a powerlifting event. But yeah, that's the end of the questions. Um, thanks for everyone who asked them. Um, that's the end of the video. Um, if you liked it, give it a like. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. It just it really means a lot, honestly. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.